Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. In the last one, we ran for it. Went down a dirty, stinky ass manhole into the sewer and then back down into the hideout for the rebels. We talked to Dots. Phoenix and Edgeworth are down here too. And we got a little bit of information about some things and Apollo's father and Apollo as a baby being involved in all of it, which I think is absolutely insane. <laughs> Poor, poor Apollo, he's getting so much freaking lore dumped. Um, so in the last one, I thought that was maybe there was one more thing we had to do. And I think that there is because um, it didn't seem like we were done here. So I think I have to present him with, let's see, what was it that I needed to show him? I think when Apollo looked at something here, he's like, I should show this to Dots and I don't know what it is. Oh, this, I think, the assassination file. So it's a file containing a ton of info on the assassination of Amara uh, of Kurain. So maybe he knows something about this. So let's uh, let's present this and see if he has anything to say. Dots, about this file. Can you help me figure out which pages are the most relevant? Yeah, sure can. I got the whole thing memorized. Okay, Axel. See this page? It's definitely worth a look. What's on this one? As the son of the terrorist Dirk, Naito was expelled from the royal family. The idea that the sins of the father are visited upon his children is deeply rooted in the minds of the Kurinese people. Oh my god. Oh, that's right! Prosecutor Sadmati was part of the royal family, wasn't he? Well, <clears throat> used to be, looks like. Yeah, but he was expelled after that whole thing with Dirk happened. Oh, he must have gotten through hell once he entered the legal world, though. Because of the whole, the sins of the father are visited upon his children thing? Yeah, in the eyes of the people, Dirk is not only a traitor to his kingdom, he's also the terrorist who assassinated the previous queen. So, as a son, Yudi no doubt got the cold shoulder at every turn. That's awful. That must have been really hard on him. Yeah, the ties between father and son aren't something you could break even if you tried. No matter where he went, he was probably labeled the son of a criminal. But despite it all, he made a name for himself through blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, just look at him now. He's a star prosecutor working cases around the globe. He's become a hero, the pride and joy of Kurain. Now that's the Naita I know. Super smart and never willing to give in. He must have studied and fought like his life depended on it to get where he is today. He worked really hard. We got to give him that, right? All right. So this has just been updated with the pages that we might need. Wait, who's that old man? So then you believe me? You believe my son's innocence? What do you mean, old man? Dirk's in jail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Hello? It's you. Uh, oh, shoot. What, <laughs> what voice did I give her again? Your poor son, imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. Let's petition the government for his release and a declaration of innocence. Oh, thank you, thank you, I'm forever in your debt. Huh? Who's that? Hey there, Miss Inmi, hard at work, I see. She comes down here? I mean, I guess so. She was, she was wife to one of the rebels as well. <laughs> yes, I have my own battle that I must wage. After all, there are many who suffer under the Defense Culpability Act. Miss Immy, please, don't forget about our case, too. I won't. I'll look into it as soon as I am able. Oh, she's doing work for the people, I see. Uh, Dots, what's Miss Inmi doing here? Sorry, Mrs. She's still Mrs. She's lending an ear to all those suffering under the regime's wrongful accusations. A lady whose husband has been imprisoned, parents whose son has been falsely charged. Oh, I see. They all come down here, do they? She's helping all those types of people. That's nice. So she's trying to help the revolution along. In her own special way. That's really good. Yeah, and thanks to her, more and more folks are coming over to our side. All the people who have been unhappy with the regime have been waiting just for this chance. And they're starting to speak out in support of us. People are responding, and a grassroots movement is growing. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Dirk's dream of revolution may finally come true. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And now we just gotta get him out of jail. What should we do about the Founder's Orb? Oh, true, we still have that on us? Uh, that's how we got in trouble in the first place. And somehow they figured out that we had it, which I still don't understand how they knew. 
We'll probably run into the royal guards again the moment we leave. Well, we can't stay here forever, so we'll have to think of something. Put it in your pants. They won't- no, you know what? Put it in Edgeworth's pants. They won't check him. I guarantee it. Why don't you hold on to it, Dots? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that- is that what we want to do? Is that a good idea? Uh... Sure! What could happen? Uh oh Um... Well, if someone's gonna go to jail for having it, it might as well be you. You probably have your own freaking private room there. Should be safe here, right? You can count on me! I'll get it back to you in time for tomorrow's trial at the Hall of Justice. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice... Pandasaur left with dots. Well, I hope we don't go to regret that. Oh, man. What now, Apollo? Well, we've got a handle on what happened 23 years ago. Well, sorta. Not really. Maybe we should pay Dirk a visit. There's something I want to show him. Okay. I'll join you. I want to talk to him before tomorrow's trial. How about you, Edgeworth? Maybe I should wait here, then. Really, Edgeworth? This doesn't seem like a place that you'd want to be in. We'll attract undue attention if we go in too large of a group. Oh, all right. You're going to be all right by yourself. Sure, Edgeworth will be fine. Well, what's, what's going to happen? He's a big guy. He can take care of himself. All right, so what? So oh, Okay, so we're going to go probably back to the detention center, then. Let's go. We, I think we have many things to ask at this point. All right. How you doing, Daddy-o? Feeling all right? You doing okay? Right, okay. Hey there, son. Came to see your old man again? No, not this, this fucking sad music. Oh. Hi, Dirk. I guess they're done questioning you? Yeah. I think Nayuta might have cut his old man a little slack, but no. Poor, oh, you've really laid into me. Seems they're really keen on recovering the Founder's Orb. We don't have it. You don't have it. Don't worry about it. When I couldn't tell him where it was, he confiscated what few possessions I hadn't left. Wait, Dirk's not wearing his attorney's badge. They even took that from him? Oh, well, it's not like they're gonna let him have it in jail anyway. I'm actually surprised they let him have it at all. Or anything, for that matter. That's usually how it goes, isn't it? All right, Nayuta, let's talk about this boy. We've, we're learning. We're learning some shit about the brothers today. He confiscated all my prized jailbreaking tools. Oh, imagine that. Because <laughs> he probably knew that you had them. <laughs> oh, no. What did you expect? I mean, no prosecutor in their right mind would let a prisoner keep stuff like that. It's true. Did he take your attorney's badge, too? No. I thought it strange, but... Just when it looked like he was going to take it from me, he changed his mind. I wonder why. Oh, so you do have it. Indeed. I find it hard to understand anything he does these days. Right, okay. Your attorney's badge. How come you're not wearing it? You're Kurani's attorney's badge. You've worn it all these years, it, even though all the lawyers are gone. Yes, because the dragon's eye is the embodiment of my creed. To show the world that a dragon never yields, huh? Yeah, I remember. Hey, Dirk. Why do you still wear your badge? You're not a lawyer anymore, right? This badge is my heart and soul, son. I'll never stop trying to realize my dream, not until my very last breath. A dragon never yields, right? Exactly. Aw, little Nayuta! Nayuta, Apollo, I vow to restore Kurain's legal system to its rightful state one day. I want to pass on to you a world where you can live free from the fear of tyranny. That's so nice. Aw, man. What a mess this is. He was always saying stuff like that to the two of us. Oh, boy. Nayuta is the reason why you didn't take Dirk's badge. Because you still remember those talks too? I would like to think that's why. I really hope that's what it is. Apollo, I hope so too, for your sake. Jeez! Oh, I can already tell. This child's gonna wreck me, isn't it? I, I, I'm, I'm just doomed. Son, would you keep my badge for me? Are you sure? I can't take something so important to you. That's exactly why I want you to hold on to it, Apollo. I'm placing my fate in your hands. Oh no, oh god. It's getting really real now, isn't it? All right, I'll make sure it stays safe. Dirk's badge, the symbol of Dirk's creed, a dragon never yields, Nayuta never confiscated it. Right, okay, but now we've got it. 
Oh, that's it? Oh, we probably, oh, we probably have to show him some things. There's probably a couple of things here that we could show. Um, what do we, what did we get in the last one that we might show him? Well, obviously these things. Um, this photo, painkiller shots. Oh, this too, the butterfly pendant. Pendant adorned with pink butterfly. Fingerprints have yet to be analyzed, but the blood belongs to Inga. What are we supposed to... <sighs> we could probably show him all these things, to be honest. Uh, do we want to show him... I wonder if he knows what this is. Do you know who this is? Is that for me, son? No, I was just wondering if you knew anything about it. What? You came to visit me and you didn't even bring a present? Like what? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shit. Okay. No, then. Um, I don't know if we show him his own law book, maybe, but, uh... Do you think he know? Wait, do you think he knows what that is? Do you think he can recognize this? I don't We're still, like, weird about this. I found this in the tomb. Look familiar? Oh, That's... Wait, you know what it is? Dirk? Where did you find it? Down between the monk statues in the tomb. That's right, this- Oh, we found this so long ago, I totally forgot. So he was in there, hopefully he saw it or knows what it's from. Is it yours? Seems kind of a, a feminine thing for him to have, but maybe? Uh, um, it's, uh, something I bought. You bought it? Why is he suddenly acting all awkward? Wait, who did he buy it for? Well, I wonder when I lost it. Let's have it. It's very important to me. Of course. Let's just make a note about it for future reference. Pink butterfly pendant. Seems it belongs to Dirk. It was stained with the victim's blood. Who did he buy it for? That's odd. All right, what else can we show him? Apollo, remember how Inga said he had someone dear to Dirk? Why don't you ask about that? Oh, right. Give it, I'll give it a try. Oh, I forgot about that shit. See, we thought, I would thought it was Nayuta at first. Um, but I, I was on the wrong track. I mean, it still is kind of in a way, if you think about it, but I don't think they've got him, except with what they've got on him. They don't have, like, hostage, actually. Now I'm starting to wonder if the nurse is in trouble. I, I'm starting to suspect that that also might be a thing. What did the minister mean when he said that he had someone dear to you in the palm of his hand? Who was he talking about? Huh? Now you just seem to know, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Well, uh, I have no idea, so... You're lying. He's lying. Well, you obediently followed his every word after he said that. So it seems to me that the minister was in close proximity to someone you really care about. Uh-oh. Oh, uh... -oh. oh uh, <coughs> <coughs> Someone you really care about that isn't Nayuta? Wait, don't tell me! Is there a new lady in your life, Dirk? What? what? No, don't be ridiculous. <gasps> uh oh. I, I don't half wonder. I don't half wonder about this. Dirk, you're not lying to me, are you, boy? Come on, spill the tea. I want it. <laughs> What's happening? The love of my life was Amara. She's gone now, and there will never be another. <gasps> Girl! No! Uh you lying! Oh no! Wait, I hope he's not gonna get out of it like Nayuta did. My bracelet! Wait, does this mean? Dirk, have you really not met somebody new? Uh oh. Uh oh, okay. Uh, well, bro, what you had in here? Okay, you know how bad I am at this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. So apparently, you can just stop it at any point and look around. And I never, yeah, I think I've done that a couple of times. But, like, what I do is I try to, like, look around and see, like, what might move in general. Like, this hand probably moves at some point. You know? And then, uh, but the thing is, is don't you have to, you have to stop it on the right time to look and see if anything's actually going. So we should probably try that. Rather than me just going through this. No, that hand did not move. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's perceive it all. It probably happens... It probably happens at the last sentence, if I had to guess. I don't know. 
Maybe I should like, maybe I should stop. Oh wait, no, wrong stop. Gosh darn it. I always do this. I'm like, stop the thing. No, you just have to perceive. If you perceive, I think it pauses it and then you can look around and see. So like if I hit it now, I, yeah, I can just look around and see if anything's moving. Oh, <laughs> like, that's just a little bit weird. Yeah, this is probably the better way to do it. I don't see anything, but it also has to be. Gotcha. Oops. It also has to be on the uh, the statement that it means. You seem uneasy, Dirk. I didn't mean to click that. I definitely pressed the wrong thing on the touch screen. <laughs> Don't tell me you're ashamed because she's much younger than you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just getting tense because of your intrusive questions. Also because you're literally in the frame. Like your eyeball is like peering at him. Like it almost like appears. Sorry about that. It almost appears like <laughs> it's like you're just his eye is like two inches, like maybe less away from you. <laughs> it's like so just looking at someone dead blank in the face. That would make anybody freak out. <laughs> it's just like, can you imagine Apollo just like literally millimeters from his face just looking at him? It's got to be within his face, this hand or the other hand. It's got to be. Uh, I don't know. Will never be another. That's moving the entire time. See, I like to do it as it's moving to make sure I don't... I know this takes a while. This is... I think out of all of the things that you do in this, this is the thing that, that trips me up the most. And I think this one's actually easier to see than the previous one we did. So that's... Wait, what's that? Is that a thing that's supposed to happen? What's this thing here? Oh, it's moving! I was like, wait, is that like a is that like a, a color glitch? No, 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 his arm's actually moving just as... That's hard to see. Gotcha. That's like barely anything. I actually thought it was like a, a graphics glitch. Okay, Dirk, you seemed tense when you said that Amara was gone now. To the point where your arm was moving around. What are you talking about? You're hiding something up your sleeve, aren't you? Huh? What's with these wild allegations? I'm not hiding a thing. My arm had an itch, that's all. Is that it? Itchy arm, my ass. He was gonna say my ass, come on. Let, let Apollo say ass. I'll just have to take an extra close look at his tics and confront him with something he can't explain his way out of. Okay. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Oh. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to, uh... Wait, I have to... Okay. Did I not do it correctly? No, I did. Someone dear to Dirk. Oh, is it gonna be the... Wait, I thought that I got it right. Did... Is he not gonna talk about it? This is the same thing. This is the... Oh, am I stuck? Hang on, we'll figure it out. Uh... So yeah, no, we, this is all the same. I thought, it, I guess it didn't open up. We still have to perceive something else? Okay. So wait, what else do we have to perceive? I thought that we did it correctly. Oh. Huh. Since when do we have to perceive something twice? Didn't it say that we got it? Or did I not get it correctly? Or is he saying that like I was almost there, but it wasn't there? The love of my life was Amara. But she's gone now. No, look, his, no, that's like moving like crazy. But what else could we have to perceive here? But she's gone now. Look, that arm be moving. Look at that. You can actually, yeah, now you can really see it. But she's gone now. Gotcha. So wait, I... Whoa, 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 okay. So, yes, Dirk. You seemed tense when you said that Amara was gone. Wait, this is the same too. To the point where your arm was moving around. What are you talking about? You're hiding something up your sleeve. This is all the same. Itchy arm, my butt. I'll have to take an extra close look at his tics. What, is, what does that mean, extra close look? Is there something? What? <laughs> Wait, are, are, we, are we doing something we haven't done before? Confront him with something he can't explain his way out of. Oh, maybe we have to present something. But is that, is that something we'd be able to do now? What would we present to him though? Uh... Huh. 
Wait, there something something's weird here. Something's weird here. What if I present this on top of it? Is it gonna be the same thing? Oh no. Oh he, oh he doesn't even react to it anymore, even though he reacted to it before. Interesting. So am I supposed to perceive something else in there? Because that's really weird. The pendant itself, hang on, let me let me actually just open the court record myself and look at that because what I wanted to figure out is did we can we like look at it or something? Like no, we can't. I wanted to like look at it closer. But maybe we can't. Go talk with Dirk in the detention center. Well, that's what I've done. Okay, so so we've we've oh shoot, I didn't mean to God, my thing my 3DS is freaking out. It like does this thing where it goes really quickly. So maybe Maybe we just have to perceive it. Something else? There's gotta be something else. But I'm not sure what. The love of my life was Amara, but she's gone. This, this is really tripping me up. I hate that Apollo's thing is the thing that always trips me up. It's always this because it's really difficult for me to see these little tiny nuances when they take the whole screen up with the eyeball. If you really wanted to look at this closely, like you were staring at someone, you would have the whole screen open because that's how you would be looking at someone. Like, why would it be covered up? Listen again. I didn't see nothing up here. I'm really, really looking. What else could be here that we are missing? There has got to be something. It's the same thing. That's the only thing that's moving. She's gone now and there will never be another. I am so stumped. That is literally all I've ever seen move. But this is just so odd. Like, I, is this supposed to help anybody see more by just like making this small thing happen? Does this chest move a little bit as well? It's really hard to tell. Because you know, the background's moving too, which makes your eye go weird. Is it still moving? It really is. This is all I can see. And I hate that this is the thing that trips me up. Of all the things, is anything else even moving in here other than the background? Nothing on his hand. Nothing on his face. Chest? I can't tell. Honestly, it's really difficult for me to see it. <laughs> uh, I wish the whole screen was available. I guess that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Literally it maybe I'm in the wrong place. Maybe I want like oh, maybe okay So let's try like over here where you can see like this. Do I just need to maybe have the eyeball in a different place? Gotcha. It seems like it's the same thing that I've just done though Dirk you can't fool me You tensed up when you said but she's gone now and you unconsciously moved your arm Causing something to press up against your jacket. Oh, this is different. So I just messed it up. Even even though it was technically the same thing, that was the game telling me to just go to like a half an inch to the right. Okay, well, I still think it should have given it to me because I was definitely like in the area of doing it. I'm sorry. How did you do that? Oh, that was supposed to be a thing pressing up against the- Okay, I did not see that. Like, I just thought it was like the shimmer of his jacket moving back and forth. I did not- Figure out that that was actually an item underneath, under the thing. Mm, I didn't know I did not see that. <laughs> That's it. You're hiding a woman's photo up your sleeve. A photo? How did you get that? Maybe I'm just dumb. You don't have to keep secrets like that from me, Dirk. You're an eligible bachelor now, but you'll introduce her to me at some point, right? I keep telling you there's no other woman. Fine, then let's see it. What are you hiding up your sleeve? That's what he meant by hiding something up his sleeve. See, I didn't think it was literal. I thought they were just making a statement. Like, I thought they were just describing that he's hiding something in general. Man, that's my fault. I usually don't have a blunder like that, but sometimes it happens. It's just this. Satisfied? Wait, the, the, so the, it's the thing we just gave you? That you didn't want to react to before? Huh? 
But that's the pendant we found in Amara's tomb. See? I wasn't trying to hide anything. Then why did he tense up? Dirk, let me take a look at it. Ugh. Oh, are we gonna- are we gonna actually look at it now? Hey, what's this button for? Oh, is it a locket? Whoa! What is it? Oh! Oh my gosh! Look at that! It's- It's a picture of Dirk and some lady! And she's really young looking too! She looks familiar! Mon dieu! Are you into younger women, Dirk? Listen, who isn't? In this day and age. Well, I'm just saying. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. And milfs are big too now. <laughs> Dirk, you old dog. You got yourself a younger lover? Will you stop with this nonsense? This is Amara before she died. If you look closer, you'll see that I was younger too. That's Amara? Oh. She's beautiful. Hey, you're right. Aw, that's no fun. I mean, everyone's so rude. <laughs> Jeez. Wait a second. Haven't we seen this one before? We sure have. I think we have a photo of her. Oh, and I thought it was someone else. Now that you mention it. Isn't this woman the same as the one in the pendant foot? Where is it? See, I thought this was the nurse when she was younger. Oh, I guess I was wrong about that. Okay. The woman in the pendant is also the one in this photo. Paula, where did you get this? From the safe in Inga's room? Uh oh wait a minute now. Wait, hold, hold the phone! Oh, we're about to have some Mori Povich bullshit up in here, are we not? Two, two dudes clamoring for the same one. Uh oh. Oh no, is it, is it wrong? That was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Apollo, if this is Queen Amara, it had to have been taken at least 23 years ago. But that's just not possible. Yeah, I just noticed the same thing. Oh shit, wait, that's true! How could it be so? Here's why this photo couldn't be 23 years old. Why it couldn't be 23 years old? Okay, look around quickly, think. What's in here that proves that it's not? She's obviously in, I believe this is Inga's room or something similar to it. It's hard to tell really where it is. Um. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell is this? Is this a law book right here? The purple law book from before. Wait a minute. Oh my God, wait, that's why. <laughs> Look at this law book. It has the mark of the Defiant Dragons branded on it. But that mark didn't exist until after you started revolutionary activity, sir. That's what I'm saying, like, if, that's not 23 years old, is it? So this photo must have been taken after Garan came into power. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 what does this all mean? And that didn't happen until after Amara was assassinated. <gasps> is he hiding her? Is she actually alive somewhere? So then how could Amara even be in this photo? Uh oh, oh no, I've, ooh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Wait a second. That would mean Amara is still alive? Ugh. Was that it, Dark? Oh, that's a big ass secret. Looks like you found me out, son. Wait, so it's actually true? Oh, Dark. Maybe that was something you should have told me. Uh oh, no. Uh oh. Wait a minute, though. Hey, mm, hang, hang up the phone. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Uh, my mind is going a mile a minute right now. I've got some theories. Dirk, what do you mean Amara's still alive? I thought she'd been assassinated. I don't understand this. So did I. But it seems she made it out alive only to be held captive by the Garon regime. <gasps> they know and they're framing him. Oh, of course. Why would they do that? When I fled from the law and went underground 23 years ago, I heard some shocking news from a defiant dragon spy. There were rumors of Queen Amara being sighted in the palace. And those rumors turned out to be true? Yes. I snuck into the palace to see for myself. She was confined within the grounds, but otherwise she was as fit as a fiddle. Really? So then, the sarcophagus in the tomb, it's empty? 
Yes, that entire tomb is one big charade. Garan had it built to stage Amara's death. So she was in on it. So, so we're not gonna be cursed by her vengeful spirit? Oh, huh, that's a relief. Wait, is that the only thing you're thinking about? Oh my god. She was being held under virtual house arrest. So I freed her, and we made a run for it. Oh my gosh. This photo was taken back then. Look at how they're both grinning from ear to ear. They look so cute together. Aww. Oh, I love it. Huh? There's a fingerprint on the metal part. I guess Dirk must have left it by accident. Oh, I see that. Oh, Mr. Sanmani, I want to hear all about how you ran away with Queen Amara. Me too. Pink butterfly pendant. It seems to belong to Dirk. A fingerprint was found on the inside of the lid. Staying with the victim's blood. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like where this is going. On the run with Amara. Yes, please. Tell me all the tea. I'm surprised Amara agreed to run away with you. I mean, Garan must have told her that you tried to kill her. I tried to convince her that I wasn't the one who set the blaze. She believed you? She said in a quote, I shall accompany you so I may ascertain the truth myself. <laughs> she always was a tough one to read. Wow. I bet she was thrilled you came to her rescue, Mr. Sadmati. To be set free by your beloved. Oh, it's like something out of a fairy tale. Sure is. Yeah, well, there was no happily ever after once Garan's people caught up with us. They took Amara away to who knows where. I snuck back into the palace and searched high and low for her, but to no avail. They probably moved her to some remote mountain prison or the like. Dirk, does Nayuta know about this? He knows she's his true mother. I told him as much. Oh, blimey, really? Wait, is that why Nayuta is following Garan's orders? Oh, it could be, it definitely. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So then, do you think that deep down he doesn't really want to prosecute you? Well, he's not one to show his feelings. <laughs> do you think? And lately I've had no idea what he's thinking. Apollo, we need to grill the queen about Amara when we have the chance. Yeah, we do. Um, I was wondering about something. This little baby the lady's holding. Is that Prosecutor Sadmati? Probably is, huh? Not necessarily. It could just as well be me. After all, we're only one year apart. Oh, I don't know. I mean, the kid in the picture is too cute to be you. Wow. Rude. Let's settle this by asking Dirk. Yeah, who is it? All right. Uh, oh, do we, oh, do we just, uh, maybe we just present the photo? That's probably what we do. All right, uh, let's get the photo out. Do, 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 do. Present it. Will you look at this? Dirk, about the cute little kid in this photo. Is that me? Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Pablo, I guess that's... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> See? I told you it was Prosecutor Sabmati. He is cute. We, we can all agree on that, right? Uh, oh, oh, I see. W well, either way, it's not you. So then... If it's Nayuta, it was taken when he was about a year old, right? And that would mean you ran away with Amara around 22 or 23 years ago? Hmm. Uh, you're pretty good with numbers, son. Impressive. What the? That wasn't even that difficult. What kind of answer is that? He doesn't want to answer it. Once photo updated. Photo showing Dirk and Amara's life on the run 23 years ago. Right. Sheesh, wait a minute now. Before you go, son, there's something else I need to tell you. Something important. What is it, Dirk? I've never seen you act so serious before. Oh, brother, I can't... Uh, I mean, so, something important, okay. <laughs> uh, you mean everything else wasn't important? So what's the something important you have to tell me? Oh, boy, I'm sitting... Thank God I'm sitting. Oh, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. Listen, son, even if you manage to prove me innocent tomorrow... What's wrong? I... I don't have long to live. Huh? What does that mean? Wait, what? What What are you talking about? What I mean is, I can already hear the Twilight Realm calling my name. 
There is no escaping death now that it has its sights set on me. What? What? Wait, whoa, 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 what does that mean, though? Is this another one of your jokes? I wish it was. Ha 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 you can't fool me, Dirk! Dirk, what are you talking about? That's strange. Why isn't my bracelet reacting? He's not lying? Wait, wait what's happening? Are you sick? It's something like that. So, you're not joking? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm afraid not, son. Sorry. Isn't there a cure? Or at least some sort of treatment? Unfortunately not. Not for what I've got. If you need some kind of surgery, I'll work hard until I can pay for it! Oh, Apollo! Oh my gosh! So please! It's too late. There's nothing more to be done now. But you always say a dragon never yields, so why are you giving up now? Apollo, I'm sorry. I really am. Wait, this is terrible! What's happening? You won't even tell us what's going on. Why is this happening, Dirk? Why? Oh no, oh no! Listen, Apollo. I've got a favor to ask of you. Would you keep quiet about this? I don't want my fellow dragons to find out. They'd lose all hope if they knew I was dying. Would you do that for me? What? Dying from what, though? Of course. Why is this happening now? Just when I was finally starting to feel like you really are my... <gasps> Apollo, I'm so sorry! Oh no! This is terrible. I hate everything. I hate all of this. No! I thought that this time we'd finally... But now... No, Apollo, I bet... Does Nayuta even know? I don't even know if he does. Damn it. Why? Apollo... Listen, son, I don't have much longer to live. But I'll never let them execute me. Not before I finish what I need to do. I know, Dirk. There's no way I'm going to let them prove you guilty. Before he goes, I'm going to turn back time by righting the wrongs that have been done. That's right. You gotta do something. Oh no, I hate this. I- Oh my god, why is this going so hard so quickly? I'm gonna restore Dirk's freedom. And return a real smile to Nayuta's face. I'm gonna win this case, I just have to. Oh no, guys, this is too much! What is happening? Jeez! Son, I have one more big secret. Another one? How many? There's something else you've been hiding from me? I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Dirk, what in the world? Forgive me, you'll just have to find out for yourself. That's the only way. I don't understand, Dirk. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Apollo, in court tomorrow, you may find yourself faced with a truth that is difficult to accept. But I know you, and I know you can handle the truth, no matter what it turns out to be. I know that because I believe in you, you're my son after all. Oh, no, Dirk. What is he talking about? Wait, he's not going to reveal that he actually is the killer, is he? The killer of who? I thought Amara was still alive! Looks like we've run out of things to discuss. Apollo? Are you okay? I'm fine. And he's not- Wait, free him now! Release Dirk! What's going on out there? Oh Jesus, uh oh. Sounds like the party's getting started without me. Huh? What in the world? It's coming from the temple. Let's go Apollo and take a look. Okay, oh, but okay. Okay, let's go do that. <laughs> uh, okay, where? Oh, she said the temple, did she not? Oh my, what the? Guys, this is happening so quickly. Ooh, do I have some theories. Okay. Mmm. Whoa, what is all this? What's happening? Oh, shit. Oh, what the? Should have known. Let go, will ya? What are they? Huh? Well, look at that. The people are coming to take their courts back. Oh, shit! Don't hold back, man! Arrest them all! Oh, 
are civilians, man. Oh shit, punch him in the face. Let's fucking go. Oh no, what a mess. Jeez. Dirk belongs to the people, give him back. Yeah, where are you holding them? Quiet down, you. Yeah, my big sister too, but she didn't do anything wrong. Ow, oh, stop pulling my hair. Release my son, release him now. Ah, oh, stop that, no biting. Oh shit, someone's gonna get shot or beat up. This is really something. And it looks like Dots and Miss Inmi are leading the charge. Wait, whoa, hello, 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 is that Nayuta? Yuji, why do you keep serving that witch Quran? Oh, it's... Hey, Nayuta! Hey boy, you need to calm down, we need to talk to you about something. You again? What's going on here? It would appear that the insurgents are fanning the flames of rebellion. But I never thought it would grow so large. Oh boy, send me ten of those at least, please. However, they will all be under arrest shortly. Reinforcements are almost here. They'll be arrested? Just for protesting? They are aiding and abetting a criminal by seeking his release. Her eminence, Queen Garan, has ordered they be arrested and judged en masse. But weren't you once a member of the Defiant Dragons too? How can you go along with this? I am simply following the orders that her eminence has handed down. No, it can't be as simple as that. Listen, Nayuta, there's something I want to talk to you about. Is he going to let me talk to him? Hey, you're not getting away this time. We need to talk. Nayuta, please. Oh, I see there's no reasoning with you. Very well then, speak. Are we going to tell him what Dirk just said to us? It's kind of important, isn't it? Not examine, you damn thing. Examine anything here? I need to talk. It's important. Dirk, tell him. Nayuta, do you really have to serve as a prosecutor on Dirk's case? I mean, prosecuting your own flesh and blood is just not right. Again with this drivel? Your ethical standards are not the be all end all of the world around you. I'm not getting into another debate with him. Tell him what Dirk said. Well, he did say not to say, though, I guess. Maybe that's why he's not. Oh wait, never mind, he's doing it! Nayuta, did you know that Dirk is sick? What? He apparently doesn't have that much longer to live. If found guilty, he probably wouldn't even make it until his execution day. What are you talking about? Knowing this, are you still prepared to send an already dying man to his grave? He didn't know? This doesn't sound very convincing though, does it? Well, I... Enough with the Zen monk act, Nayuta. Tell me how you really feel. Mr. Justice, each person is born with a role to fulfill, and I must fulfill mine. Well, I'm not convinced that taking Dirk to trial is part of your lot in life. I don't either. As for why you've been at Garan's every beck and call, I think I might have the answer. Amara. Nayuta, you know the truth about your mother, don't you? About how the former queen is still alive and being held somewhere. So Dirk told you, did he? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so Dirk told you, did he? Yes, it's true. My mother was spirited away to some remote corner of this kingdom. To keep her safe from harm. Safe from harm? But Dirk said the Garan regime is holding her captive. No, they're keeping her safe. So... You don't know where Amara is being held? I only know that it is some secluded hideaway where visitors are not allowed. I have heard that she leads a simple life akin to that of a monastic disciples. Sure sounds like she's being held captive to me. Listen, Nayuta, aren't you really doing the queen's bidding? Because she's holding Amara captive? Are you? And this whole thing with Dirk? You know he didn't really kill Inga, don't you? Nayuta, we gotta fix this. Come on, dude, like, I need you. Dirk doesn't have much longer to live, so I wanna help him however I can. This time, it's our turn. Oh, man. Oh, this thing is, this is gonna ruin me before the end. I know it. 
I just know. You, you could have been killed. Did you risk your life to save us? Why? What a silly question. What father wouldn't risk his life to save his own children? Nayuta, Apollo, don't you ever hesitate to call when you need me, understand? Nayuta, please. It's our turn to help Dirk however we can. Nayuta, come on, man. I don't think he's gonna buy it. I don't think he's gonna go for it. I just don't. What you speak of is futile. Dang, why is he so pretty? Oh, he's hurting though. He knows. Let it go and move on. The guilty verdict, the hopelessness. You must resign yourself to it all. Clinging to false hope now will only serve to magnify your future despair. So let it go and move on. Nayuta, are you really gonna just roll over on this? I don't know if he can break free. I have no more time for idle chatter. I must prepare for tomorrow's trial. No, if you'll excuse me. Oh no, we didn't really get through to him, did we? Oh, what are we gonna do? Cheese! Apollo? I sensed a whirlpool of emotions coming from within Prosecutor Sadmati just now. Anger, shock, bewilderment. Oh, and an icy sorrow, as deep and dark as an abyss. Yeah, I picked up on that too. It looks like Dirk really won't be the only one who'll need my help tomorrow. Oh my gosh, we gotta save everything! I think it's about time to pay King bleh, pay Queen Gara on another visit. Really? Right now? While people are protesting, you think this is the time? And ask her about her sister Amara. Oh, I think we're gonna get in big trouble. Where's Edgeworth? We need help. We need diplomatic immunity. Wait, so are we actually- what? Are we- okay, so in the next one, we're gonna do what we need to do. I- I- I can't believe that this is still going on. Holy crap, so much has happened. So much has happened and I have a whirlwind of thoughts and I'm gonna give them to you right at the beginning of the next episode, I promise you. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Wow, this ramped up to 100 real freaking quick. I can't wait to see what happens. Thank you so much, I will see you soon. Toodaloo.